Hi, I'm Willie, and thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you to everyone. I couldn't do this without you, and I'm so glad that you're here. Now, uh, I do have two technical videos left this week, and then we're going to get into the network uh, design and theory videos, which will cover a lot of topics. And then I'm also going to get into my building a an ISP series. But from you, I want to know which video do you want to see first? Do you want to see the opening to network theory or do you want to see the intro to building an ISP? So chime in. Let me know down in the comments which video you'd like to see first. So this video tonight is going to be on Webmin 1.8 and it's actually 1.8.4 in this new theme that they're sporting that I'm I'm so pumped about this. And sometimes it's the little things. Um, and so what I've got is I've got a virtual machine running uh, Ubuntu 14.04.4. That's what I had handy. This should work the same on Ubuntu 16. So my IP is 66.239. So we're going to log in. And you can do you can do this a couple different ways. As you can see here, too, I just installed this, so there's going to be some updates. But Webmin will actually show us that, and we can do the updates through Webmin. So you go over to www.webmin.com, and uh, you can read about Webmin. You can read about the other software that they have, and we'll probably delve into those at some point, too. But uh, we are looking for the Debian package. And we want this direct link, so we'll... Uh, copy the link address. Now here's the really goofy thing. It's going to go ahead and download the actual deb file, um, but on the Ubuntu server I'm going to do a wget. Now if I were to um, if I were to use uh, uh, winscp we could just transfer that file over, but we're in uh, the server here, so we'll just do this. We'll just do Copy webman to actually we'll do this. Do webman. And there it is. So now we're just gonna do a sudo d package space half an i hyphen i and it's gonna come up and it's gonna ask us for the password. And now it's gonna run through there and we're gonna get an error saying that there are prereqs that are missing. So we're going to run that command that we always run to fix those prereqs. Uh, and you'll see that here in a minute. And it's going to be, I believe, apt-get-f install. So this will come up here in a minute and give us an error. So there we've got the error. So we'll do sudo apt-get-f install. It's going to go out and it's going to grab all those prerequisites. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, we are sure that we want to do that. And then it will finish installing Webmin. Uh, I believe that Webmin has uh, a Debian and Ubuntu repository too that you can configure. So this is really uh, more of a manual way uh, to do this. But it is setting up Webmin. And we're going to remember we're on 66.239. Default port is 10,000, so we'll wait until we've got the green light here. It's still going now. This virtual machine only has a gig of RAM. Uh, it has a 20 some odd hard, uh, 20 some odd gig hard drive that I only size to 8 gig because we're going to talk about resizing partitions as well at some point. Okay, so now it looks like it's ready to go. So we'll hop back over here. And of course, we don't have a certificate installed, a CA cert installed yet. So you can see, if you remember the last video, just how different even the login screen looks. So we're going to put our credentials in. And wait until you see this new theme. Look at this. This thing is amazing. Now, we may be, uh, and uh, it says that the server wants to send you notifications. We'll allow that. So you can see we're using 40% of our CPU, 26% uh, of our real memory, 27% local disk space. There are 186 uh, packages 
that are available for update. So just, I mean, look at this interface. I mean, this they are killing it with the new webman. So we've got our little uh, notification bell over here, and it's you put your mouse over it, it rings. So we've got notifications. There's a quick look at our, our uh, dashboard. Another thing that you've got here is the recent login. So you can see where it was logged in uh, from and the state. You can pin things to the favorite areas. And then, of course, we've got these notifications. So here is all of the packages that need to be updated. So what I can do is I can um, go back down and I can hit Update Selected Packages. And it's going to roll through a couple of things here. This is building a complete list of updates. And now we're going to have the option to install now. So once we hit install now, now you're going to see the text uh, start scrolling here. And it's going out and it's grabbing. It has to grab 174 megabytes um, of information. So we'll see how long that takes. Now, I've been getting over 10 megabytes a second, so uh, and that's something that we're going to talk about in our network theory. But um, you can see the size of some of these, like there's a 33 megabyte. So we grabbed 174 megabytes in 22 seconds. That's not too bad. It's not, it's definitely not gigabit speeds. So now the system's going to go through this whole process of, of updating. But just I'm just super duper impressed with this interface. Call me simple, but um, they've really cleaned it up. It's really got a more professional um, look and feel to it. I, I would put my logo on this, uh, my H5 logo, and not have any any uh, problems doing that. You know, skinning this um, as they allow. So up here you've got the webman, and it looks like you can actually use uh, Alt W on the keyboard, and you've got the dashboard. Um, that looks like it's Alt L. So I don't know Alt L. What that does, I don't know if we can navigate away from this while this is happening. I don't know why we couldn't. Um, these packages should just be about done. I'm I'm surely I can navigate away from this. Let's see what happens. Um, so I've got uh, Apache bind MySQL and SSH installed here so those are the servers we'll be working with in the future um, we've got all these other modules that are available of course our network modules our hardware modules the clustering modules and then all of your unused modules are here and you can refresh them refresh the module so if you install a package and it's got a module but it's not showing up you can click refresh modules it'll find that on your machine um, here's all of our webmen options here, the system options, and of course we're on the software package updates right now. And then down here at the bottom you've got a, a day-night mode toggle. So if you click that it changes the color scheme, and it does it just like that. Man, it's slick. Uh, then there's a terminal, so if we click that, now we actually have a terminal right here. Here's our favorites. There are no favorites added yet, so you can add a favorite. Um, theme configuration, so you can um, changes. We're going to stay. Well, it's doing that. And then you can edit your user or you can sign out. So uh, we'll go through installing a CA cert on this here at some point. Uh, but if, if uh, I encourage you to learn Linux, um, Debian and Ubuntu are my uh, distros of, of choice at the moment. I used to be uh, a Red Hat guy, uh, but switched switch to Debian and Ubuntu. Used to run SUSE too, but uh, actually I still have a couple SUSE boxes. But um, if, if Linux intimidates you, um, you know, install it in a VM. You know, all the guided partitioning and all the system setup stuff, it's all there. Throw Webmin on it. If you can run a Windows system, you can run a Linux system uh, with Webmin. I mean, it really makes it simple. And, and um, you know, don't be afraid of it. You know, set it up in a VM. And if you destroy it, 
who cares? You know, I mean, you can just, you can start over. It's a VM, it's a lab, you know, that's, that's how we're learning. So, um, you can see we had something pop up here tell us that uh, nine package updates are available. So this thing's going to keep going. And that's what I really wanted to show you for now. Um, actually, let me see if it'll let me go to something else. Nope. So um, I'm not sure if I navigate away from that. I can't see that it would break it, but I've never done it. So this is that thing. And I just told you, so what? It's a lab, right? So, so what? It is a lab. So we're going to go over to users and groups. And uh, here are all the users on the system, their user ID, their group, their real name, their home directory, and the shell. And, you know, from right here, you can create a new user. So you don't have to know the command line. Um, and on some of these commands, it will show you the output. So you can actually learn the command line that way. So now if we go back to our software package updates, is this thing still cranking away over here? No, it must still just be running in the background at this point because I got a lot of hard drive activity. So, um, and then the networking, uh, you can do this the bandwidth monitoring. You can come in and turn on the firewall. You can come into your network configuration. You can create sub interfaces. Right now, this is DHCP. Uh, I haven't set a static on it yet. Um, but I, I encourage you, go out and use this and break your system and then learn how to fix it. That, that's how I learn 90% of what I know is uh, just playing with it, put my hands on it, breaking it, reading about it, and then reading how to fix it. we got a couple notifications over here that we've got all these uh, packages that are available. And then it says, uh, warning, recent package updates, such as a new kernel, require reboot to be fully applied so it's given us that warning and then we can hit reboot now I'm not going to do that because I can still see I've got plenty of hard drive activity so there's something going on but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment like I asked earlier please follow me on Twitter and Instagram please use those Amazon affiliate links down below to keep a few bucks rolling into the channel and uh, I will see you in the next video